Bali, the magical paradise filled with fun and excitement. We are going to cover all the best surf areas in Bali for both the left and right hand reef. Before diving into the surf areas, let's discuss some popular questions that are frequently asked. Bali offers numerous locations for both beginners, intermediate, and advanced surfers. The best time to go surfing in Bali is during the dry season, which is typically from April to September. During this period, the island experiences consistent swells, offshore winds, and favorable weather conditions, making it the best time for surfers to practice their skills. The beginner and intermediate areas for surfing in Bali are the Padang Padang, Kuda Beach, Dreamland Beach, and Batu Bolong Beach. For advanced spots, you have the Padang Padang and the Uluwatu surf area. Uluwatu Beach. Now this is for the intermediate or the advanced surfers. Breaks in the Uluwatu are very technical and advanced. During the monsoon season, you can get swells as high as 15 feet. If you are a beginner, it is best to go to the Dreamland Beach, which is not too far away, and the swells go up to six feet. The Dreamland Beach is definitely one of the best surf spots in Bali for beginner surfers. The Padang Padang is known for its long tube rides as well as sharp reef bottom. It's known also as the Balinese Pipeline. This beach has waves that go from 5 to 12 feet high, which can accommodate both beginner and advanced levels. Medewi Beach Medewi Beach is a popular spot for surfers of all levels. Possibly the longest left-hand wave in Bali. This beach provides an amazing 30-second long waves for both beginner and advanced. The Green Bowl got its name due to its bowl-shaped ocean floor, which is visible during a low tide. The water reflects its green surrounding it, and it is truly a sight to see. To access it, you have to climb numerous concrete steps, which makes the area not as crowded. The Karamas Beach breaks between the fast and hollow right-handers, that average about five feet high. It has a black sandy beach which goes for about 10 miles, offering a fantastic view of the sunset in the afternoons. The Balangan Beach is within walking distance of the Dreamland Beach in Uluwatu. There is a sharp coral reef, which is why surfers here are often recommended to use booties. White Sand Beach stretches for 200 meters, making it an idyllic location to relax. The Impossible is got its name for a reason. Experienced riders go here to challenge themselves within the intimidating wave. It has a beautiful rock formation and you can ride the wave sometimes for up to one mile. The waves go from 3 to 5 feet high and are often very fast. The term Sullivan means crouch under. This beach gives a powerful long swells which makes it ideal for surfers. It has a white sand beach and cliffs make a stunning background as you surf. The new Sadua Located in the resort island of Nusa Juar is a great place to catch swells. From there you can reach Mushroom Rock and Black Rock. The Nusa Juar is very beginner friendly and should definitely be tried. The Congo Beach has waves for all level of surfers and is good for both dry and wet seasons. Beginners should stick to the spots like Echo Beach and Batu Bolong where the swells are a little bit more mellow. Kuta Beach is very popular and is in the center of the Balinese surf culture. The Kuta Beach provides everything you might want on your surfing holiday 
but it is very crowded. The Elysian Beach has Gentle Wave, which is just a little further up from the Kuta Beach and not as crowded. So if you're looking for a spot just to surf and relax, Elysian Beach is the one. There are numerous surf schools all over the island, especially in Kuta. When choosing a surf school, these are some questions to bear in mind. Are the instructors certified by an official body like the International Surfing Association? How far is it from a good beginner's wave? Is it a camp? And if so, what is included in the new package? Most camps provide accommodation, breakfast, yoga classes, and surf lessons seven days a week, twice a day. Camps ranges from $60 to $80 per day. Another question to ask is, does it include the surfboard rental and if not, how much is it? Going to Bali to surf is definitely a surfer's dream and should be on your bucket list. I hope you have fun.